Hey guys, it's PMHK here, obviously, and in this video, we're going to be looking at another device that is not launched in South Africa or that is not sold in South Africa. This is the Apple Watch stainless steel, which is not available in Africa as a whole and some other part of the world also they don't support this cellular version of the apple watch now the countries that are supported are mainly uh, the us some countries in europe as well as china now the rest of the world does not support the cellular version of the apple watch obviously mainly because of the eSIM that this guy uses for it to connect to a cellular uh, network now this is the apple watch that i use this is the aluminum versions of the apple watch now you'll be getting similar features when you actually uh, buy either of these guys this is the apple watch uh, fourth generation you'll be getting the uh, bigger screen you will also be getting the 50 percent more uh, louder speakers in uh, both devices you are also getting the s4 chip which is the new chip that it's inside that have helps with the processing you're also getting the electro cardio uh, gram uh, electrical cardiogram reader on the digital crown which is uh, right here and also obviously you're going to be getting the haptic feedback when you actually scroll on the crown itself and also the improved heart rate sensor these are the new heart rate sensor that the other models actually don't come with this is much improved than the older one and uh a couple of the differences that these guys will have obviously the main one and the biggest one is the cellular capability of the cellular stainless steel apple watch uh one also major difference would be that this one here it's aluminum which is going to be actually much lighter than uh, this one which is the stainless steel and also the gold uh they are both gold versions but you can see that the gold on the stainless the gold on the aluminum watch is much of a rose gold and the uh, gold on the stainless steel is actually much closer to a, a real uh, gold and not too uh, rosy now this guy here is not sold in south africa because most of our networks here they don't support the eSIM technologies uh, yet but this is obviously something that will come in future and i think the other reason also is that the stainless steel watch as compared to the aluminum version of this watch will cost you a lot more than uh, the aluminum one that's why probably they decided that they will only be selling uh, the much cheaper version so that people can actually afford the actual watch now uh if you are somebody who travels a lot or is always in the state for example uh then you would be able to actually purchase uh, uh this guy when you are actually overseas other than that i really don't recommend you guys importing this watch to the country uh for you to actually have a stainless steel apple watch that's most people actually like being unique about it and they will go out of their ways to actually get something that is not available in the country and sometimes i'm actually one of those uh individuals now a couple of the things that you have to look for for you if you want to spot this uh stainless steel apple watch in the wild is one of the actually most renowned features is the red ring that comes here on the side uh, this is actually one of the uh, main indication that the person is using a cellular uh, apple watch and also the other uh, feature that you will see is that the stainless steel is a uh, much of a real gold color and not a rose gold now the fact that this watch supports cellular uh, connectivity will mean that for you to uh, actually go and make calls you don't need the watch to be tethered to your uh, smartphone and also you can listen to maybe apple music stream on the go so you don't you're not going to need your iphone to be with you for this is basically helpful for people that actually go out and run so they don't have to carry their phone in a pocket as well as the uh, apple watch for them to be able to stream maybe from apple music or from uh, spotify and apart from those uh features really i really don't think this is uh 
a device that you would want to buy since the main feature that makes this guy a different from the aluminum ones is the cellular connectivity which is obviously not supported in africa as a whole and and that's the reason for uh, this video so i just wanted to talk to you guys about the stainless steel apple watch cellular version which is not available in africa now this series of videos is obviously we look at devices that are currently not available in africa or don't sell in africa as a whole or they were not launched in africa officially because some products will actually sell but not officially be launched in africa and in this video we looked at the stainless steel apple watch i'm going to link the other video on the series somewhere down in the description where we looked at the one plus uh four one plus five but it's going to be linked down in the description if you guys want to check that video that phone also when i made that video was not officially launched in the country i don't know about now but yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching this video uh if you're not already subscribed to the channel make sure you go and you subscribe to the channel otherwise i'm going to catch you guys on my next video peace